Is it an honor to be the real life Logan Roy? I hear you bent for him and he f***ed you. In this video, I'll award Roy's for every major similarity, like buying MySpace or meddling in an election. And I'll take away Roy's for major contrasts, like only having children with one woman. Succession's writer, Jesse Armstrong, has said that the inspirations for Logan Roy are many and include William Randolph Hearst, Conrad Black. Oh God, that's such a long list. Oh, my leg's falling asleep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. William Randolph Hearst, Conrad Black, John Malone, Robert Maxwell, Rupert Murdoch, Donald Trump, Robert Mercer, Sumner Redstone, and I include Sheldon Adelson because, well, you'll see. Although there are nine bona fide inspirations, we're gonna spend our time today looking at the four top contenders. Sheldon Adelson started selling newspapers, then made his money in trade shows and casinos. He owned casinos in Las Vegas, Macau, and Singapore. So that's good for two Roy's. Later in life, he purchased newspapers in Israel and Las Vegas to influence public opinion. That's good for another Roy. Adelson was the largest donor to Israel and Republicans. From 2010 to 2020, he and his wife gave over $500 million to the Republican Party and its PACs. That's a lot of influence and it's good for another Roy. With four Roy's, Adelson is a solid contender, but with just two wives and children from just one, it's hard to compete. Sumner Redstone was a tremendously successful and visionary media tycoon with divorces, mistresses, children, and complex trusts. His will and testament was amended 40 times. He was tough, caught in a hotel fire at 55. He held on outside a window, sitting on a small ledge while flames burned him and disfigured his fingers. He had burns on 45% of his body. You know, I was in the hospital for about four months. I had 60 hours of surgery. You gotta give him a Roy just for that. Like Logan Roy, he owned movie theaters. That's good for a point. He also thought content was more important, so he bought control of CBS, Viacom, and several cable TV networks. That's another point. Redstone controlled Viacom even into extreme old age and he passed that control on to his daughter, Sherry. That's good for another point. He also moved his executives around. One of them, Philippe Dalman, looks a lot like Frank Vernon, Logan's assistant and the COO of Waystar Royco. He gets a point for that too. Redstone also had huge houses, boats, jets, all that. That's another point. Redstone had disputes with his mistresses, his daughter, Sherry, and there was conflict over his trust fund for his grandchildren and his daughters. Altogether, a very complex personal life and another point. Although Redstone has something like eight points, I don't think he's the real Logan Roy because he's Sandy Furness. That's Logan's rival. Sandy Furness, at the end, sits hunched over and mumbling in a wheelchair while his daughter does all the talking. This is exactly like what happened to the real Sumner Redstone when he was at the end of his life. In 2018, the ailing media mogul Sumner Redstone possessed a controlling interest in CBS Corp and Viacom Inc., but little power of speech beyond grunting. <laughs> Rather than relinquish his position, he took to communicating through an iPad loaded with audio clips of him saying yes, no, and you. Donald Trump. Although he inherited his money and worked mostly in real estate and branding and is not a media tycoon, he is a huge entertainer, and I think he gets a point for that. And he was elected president of the United States, a position of tremendous power that even Logan would respect. Logan's all about power and entertainment, so I'm gonna give him two points, one for being president and one for being such a hugely successful entertainer. There's also the Trump Media Group. That's Trump's newfangled thing that owns, I think, the Truth Social Network. Give him a point for that too, so that's three points. Donald Trump has had three marriages to women increasingly younger than he is, and that hasn't stopped him from getting <clears throat> extra credit. That's certainly Logan's style, so that's point number four. Like Logan, Trump has three well-known children involved in his business, point number five. And the children seem to match really well with the Roy children. Ivanka seems like a model for Shiv. She's more competent, she's the eldest, point six. Eric and Donald Jr. seem to have a lot in common with Kendall and Roman. Oh, control the narrative, oh, control it. Control the narrative. You can imagine Kendall and Roman hunting for big game just like the Trump kids, can't you? That's another point. Kendall Roy has a drug problem, and there are allegations that Donald Jr. does as well. So I'm gonna give another point for that. Eric Trump seems in over his head, like when he encouraged voters in Minnesota to vote a week after the election. This is kind of like Roman Roy launching a satellite at the wrong time so he could sync it up with his sister's wedding. One more Roy for the Donald. Like the Roy children, who are only contenders to run Waystar Royco because of nepotism, 
The Trump children are too. They're running this huge company and the only reason they're doing so is because you know they won the sperm lottery. They think they've hit a home run when actually they were born on third base. Come to think of it, Donald Trump thinks that too. So although Donald has nine points, he has had six bankruptcies and Logan Roy hasn't. I'm deducting a point for each bankruptcy and that brings the Donald way down, I'm afraid. Rupert Murdoch and Logan Roy were both born subjects of the British Empire. Logan was born Scottish and Rupert was born Australian. I'm willing to assume Logan is a United States citizen, just like Rupert is because of restrictions on the foreign ownership of US TV stations and other media assets. That's definitely a point. Both started with newspapers and expanded to satellite television and then founded right-wing news networks. The ATN network looks a lot like the Fox News network. That's definitely a point. Both wanted trophy newspapers. Logan Roy tried to buy the Pierce Group, which had some fancy newspaper. This is a lot like Rupert Murdoch's real acquisition of Dow Jones for the Wall Street Journal. He bought the Wall Street Journal and Dow Jones from the Bancroft family, and that whole scene with the Pierces and the Bancrofts seems very similar. That's definitely a point as well. Both have tried to enter social media through acquisition. Rupert Murdoch bought MySpace in 2005 for $580 million and sold it for $35 million in 2011. This reminds me of the Volter acquisition in season two of Succession. Volter is later shut down, so the parallels are strong. That's another point. Rupert and Logan are also very coarse men. Logan's trademark could have come directly from Rupert Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch said to the publisher of a tabloid he was setting up, I want a simple broadsheet with plenty of in it. That certainly could have been from Logan Roy as well. Point five, both men have had major scandals in their businesses. The News Corp scandal for phone hacking, you know, the Millie Dowler scandal in England in which they hacked into the phone of a poor girl who'd been murdered, giving hope to the parents thinking, you know, the girl could have been alive. Major scandal that threatened the top of the company even though it was actually done by underlings. That sounds a lot like the scandal in cruise ships in succession. You call him Mo over 30 times in emails to family and colleagues, but you never use it in the items of correspondence sent to him privately, for instance, during his illness. Why not? Another point for Rupert. Of course, Rupert has many homes, yachts, and planes. Give him a point for that too. Ah, my ass hurts a lot. Um, okay. Wives. Rupert has had four, all increasingly younger than him, and ladies, he's single again, so um, that's another point. Conflict over family trusts. Rupert's later wives and their children have competed with the children of the earlier wives for control over Rupert's assets and his companies, and he has sort of reached an agreement with the various wives and children over his trusts. Highly reminiscent of succession, so you've got to give him another point for that. Family structure. Similarly to Logan, Rupert has a single child from the first wife, Prudence, three children from the second wife, and, you know, uh, Logan's still relatively young, and maybe he'll have a third act with some more children. So the, the story's not over for Logan or for Rupert at this point, but the family structures do look fairly similar. Logan and Rupert are tremendously accomplished. Rupert has actually been a significant player in politics since the 1960s. Ronald Reagan credited Rupert Murdoch with helping him win New York State and the presidency. You've got to give Rupert a point for that as well. One major difference though, Rupert Murdoch's children are considered highly accomplished and very capable, unlike Logan's. I don't think you need to I'll deduct one for that. So Rupert has run up the score. And before Succession, Jesse Armstrong, the writer of Succession, actually wrote a script in a pilot about the Murdoch family. It was never made, but I think that's another confirmation that the real Logan Roy is Rupert Murdoch. So Rupert, congratulations. You're the king, the roi of Roy's. What does that mean? It's a little French word. The roi means, means king in French. Logan is king. Roy is the name of the king. Royal, royalty, roi. So do you agree? Have I missed anyone? Please let me know in the comments. It's fun looking at the real people who might have inspired the show's succession. I also did a video on Margin Call where I look at the real events that inspired that movie. And bye.